I'm packing up all my gear. Matthew should be here any minute. See you in my world. Yeah. Come on. Windshield. I just wanna like rippity rap to that shit and make it happy, you know. Uh, <laughs> I want to vlog about science. So in water, you'll have politics, the industries that we think of, or something rad and informative. But I don't know any of those things right now. What I do know is myself and the stuff that I've been processing this past year, and how it's developed me as a person. So I think that's what I'm gonna vlog about, is my thoughts on myself. A lot of it has to do with comparing myself to my brother. I did not want to be thinking about that stuff because I don't want to be a person who compares myself to my brother. Um, but the truth is, is there's something under there that needed to be processed. And me just saying, it's not healthy to think about comparison. It's not healthy to think about my brother, you know? Like if I'm thinking about my brother more than me, uh, that's unhealthy. Where these thoughts that we repress come from, the it, this is the, the part that you're not conscious about. When you see the diagram of this glacier, you see the ego, which we always talk about. The super ego, which we can understand, but a lot of it's unconscious. And then the id, which is completely submersed and unconscious. This is what I've really learned about myself, is when I have thoughts, that I don't want to be thinking, and it's coming out of nowhere, that is the ego, or the super ego, repressing the id. And so you're repressing part of you that actually exists. So by allowing yourself to let those thoughts surface, you can understand your underlying desires, motives, feelings. And in the case with my brother, he is taller than I am. He has a full head of hair. He is rich. <laughs> and I think it's natural for me to compare myself and think about what made him successful? What behaviors, what actions, what, uh, what philosophies has he embodied in order to be a successful human? And those are healthy thoughts, but the thoughts uh, that come like self-worth, value, uh, whether one is worthy of respect and love, and from who, and that's why a lot of people want to suffocate those thoughts is the fears and the insecurities. But dealing with those fears and insecurities with rationalizing and realizing that, of course, of course I would like to be taller. Of course I'd like to have thicker hair. Of course I would like to be rich. When I allowed myself those thoughts, I understood and had an appreciation for myself and my brother even more. Accepting reality for what it is and, and knowing that we have the opportunity to take advantage of our situations. And my situation is I have an amazing brother who I'm able to work with and who I'm able to capitalize from. And the only way that's gonna work is if I'm okay being me and I provide value. That way I'm not a victim, but I'm a partner. And I'm a, uh, a person who wants to reorientate myself to not an idealistic view of, of what I wish, but of reality and how I can move forward. Um, and it all goes back to a place of love. Being okay with how things are, and loving self and loving others. So that is the idea of the id, the ego, and the super ego. And I haven't gotten into the super ego yet. And I'm gonna save the super ego for my next post. 
I was so reluctant to feed my ego because of my super ego. I guess that's more it, is the recognition of my super ego in wanting to be a just person and be seen as a just person, but it's just kind of a load of shit sometimes. It isn't a load of shit, but it needs to be understood as a motive to feel self-righteous. So, this is me exploring my superego.